Hello, to those who have not had the pleasure to meet in person, I'm Ray Jadala, and I'm very proud to have the opportunity to lead Miami-Dade Fire Rescue into this new year, alongside each one of the dedicated MDFR employees, who together work every day on ensuring we deliver the best services to our community. At the beginning of each year, we have the opportunity to look back at the previous year, not only to look at our achievements, but with transparency and humility, we also get to look at the areas where we can improve our services for our community. Whether on land, water, or even in the air, in calendar year 2023, our frontline units were dispatched over 480,000 times to more than 280,000 emergencies. Of these, approximately 226,000 were medical emergencies, 29,000 were fire-related incidents, and another 25,000 were categorized as other emergencies. These are not just numbers. These are lives that are touched with the delivery of our services, and they are a direct reflection of your hard work and dedication to our community. Together, we accomplished so much in 2023, and I feel it's important to take the time to recognize a few of our accomplishments. This video serves as a highlight to some of those achievements that serve to recognize both our service and our personnel. In January 2023, Lieutenant Brandy Paternoster was named 2022 Search and Rescue Responder of the Year by the Florida Fire Chiefs Association for her level of excellence as a search and rescue responder and for her ongoing commitment to the fire service and community. During the same ceremony, a member of our cadets, Ruben Ranieri, was named 2022 Fire Rescue Cadet of the Year for his valuable contributions to his post and commitment to the participation, education, and community in service. In 2023, a proactive approach to fostering a safer and more resilient community, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue launched two of the community-based programs. Designed to provide interactive, hands-on training, the Health Emergency Life Program, also known as HELP, teaches Miami-Dade County employees and residents the life-saving actions to take during an emergency while first responders arrive to continue with the medical care. The program teaches participants life-saving techniques from stroke recognition, stop the bleed, CPR, to choking help. These invaluable tools have already saved lives in our communities, and we could not be more proud of their success. Booking out weeks in advance, this program is one that will definitely empower residents to be part of the survival chain, helping us increase the chance of a better medical outcome for our patients. Additionally, in partnership with Miami-Dade Parks, Recreation, and Open Spaces, we have played a pivotal role in supporting the county's Splash Initiative, which offers a comprehensive approach to water safety and includes drowning prevention measures, swimming education, and water awareness, aiming to ensure the well-being of children and families. On March 14, 2023, the Board of County Commissioners presented a commendation to our team and first responders for the outstanding response to the Covanta Waste to Energy Plant fire in Doral. Due to the complexity and the challenges involved in the firefight, having limited access to the fire burning beneath the rubble, the Covanta fire required the manpower of over 200 firefighters and 70 units spanning several weeks. A month later in April, our response to this fire was featured on the Florida Fire Chiefs Association Florida Fire Service Magazine. Additionally, all personnel who are part of this response were recognized during our Medal Day ceremony. I'd like to thank all the personnel for their efforts during this incident. From the fire personnel who worked tirelessly to control and extinguish this fire, to all the specialized personnel who, in one way or another, contributed to the mitigation of this incident. This incident was complex at every turn. And it was thanks to each and every one of you that we were able to minimize the impact to the community. Thank you. In May, the Florida Beach Patrol Chiefs Association and the United States Life Saving Association recognized Ocean Rescue Lifeguard Christopher Gutierrez as the Lifeguard of the Year for making the positive impact in our community and creating environmental awareness. Also in May, Lieutenant George Martinez from Rescue 2 was recognized by the Stewart Healthcare for his exceptional professionalism in delivering the highest standard of care to our patients. Our Black Heart Extrication Team participated in the North American Vehicle Rescue Association official national extrication competition at Palm Beach State College and placed second overall across every category, qualifying the team to attend the World Rescue Challenge 2023 in Spain in October. In May, our Advanced Life Support Competition team participated in the 2023 Fire Department of New York EMS competition and placed first, defeating 10 teams from around the world. Lieutenant Victor Isa, Captain Alejandro Lozano, Lieutenant Desi Mantover, and Chief Eddie Trapero competed in the several high-intensity scenarios that tested the team's abilities for scene, search, 
assessment and management, clinical knowledge, and teamwork. By fostering a culture of ongoing hands-on learning, our teams compete with other departments in the local, national, and international stage where they're able to share their knowledge and best practices, cultivating a dynamic exchange of ideas, boosting teamwork, and driving continuous improvement in their skills. Our MDFR cadets, alongside other teams from South Florida, compete in the various events at the 21st Annual Fire Explorer Competition in Coral Springs, placing first place in ladders, second in first aid, and third in the barrel push in the combat challenge, and took second place overall. Demonstrating remarkable proficiency during a variety of team events, in August, our cadets then went on to compete, winning multiple awards at the Summer Gator Games in Gainesville, Florida. Then, in July, our Air Rescue Bureau captured national attention and was featured in the summer issue of Vertical Valor magazine to share how the coordination of their efforts helps to ensure that resources are deployed efficiently and the response is swift and effective during high-pressure situations. Also in July, our junior lifeguards competed alongside with other Ocean Rescue Departments from Florida in the Tommy Totar Hogan Memorial Junior Lifeguard Competition held in Delray Beach. Representing the department, both junior lifeguards Matthew and Miguel Giannis secured a position within the top five in every race and took home a bronze medal on the run swim run component of the competition. In July, our ALS team participated in the 2023 Bill Schreer International ALS BLS competition in Claremont, Florida. Competing against other EMS teams showcasing their skills in providing care during realistic pre-hospital scenarios, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue took first place in the preliminary round and placed second overall in the ALS competition. Team Captain Alex Lozano was presented with a 2023 Leadership Award for Best Incident Commander. Throughout the year, our department embarks on strategic initiatives to augment our fleet in order to strengthen our operational capacity and to ensure timely response throughout Miami-Dade. In August 2023, two new 100-foot platform apparatuses were placed into service at Cutler Ridge Fire Rescue Station 34 and Opelaka Fire Rescue Station 26, respectively. Also in August, our crews were able to lend a helping hand where they were needed most, far beyond the confines of our county. Our Florida Task Force 1 deployed a K-9 search team to assist with post-wildfire response efforts in Maui, Hawaii. That same month, our Florida Task Force 1 was also deployed to Orlando, Florida to stage ahead of Hurricane Idalia. Working in tandem with local and state agencies, the 90-person team assisted with state operations by conducting damage assessments and providing aid to the affected communities in Big Bend region of Florida. In September, our department placed two new units in service. Rescue 61 operates out of Trail of Fire Rescue Station 61, reducing response times and enhancing emergency medical services to western areas of unincorporated Miami-Dade County. Additionally, ALS Hazmat Engine 70 was also placed in service at Coconut Palm Fire Rescue Station 70, enhancing fire suppression and hazardous materials response coverage within the southern portions of Miami-Dade County. Both units were pushed into service during the two separate traditional push-in ceremonies held on October 4, 2023. Every team member's contribution is valued at Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, and our camaraderie proudly stretches far beyond our department, resulting in meaningful peer-to-peer -peer collaborations with other partner agencies. Being recognized by Ocean Fire Rescue for our peer-to-peer -peer support helps ensure that our our communities continue to receive the unparalleled service they deserve and have become accustomed to. On September 22, 2023, Lieutenant Jeanette Harrington was recognized by the American Lung Association's Fight for Air Climb as a top fundraiser in support of the lung cancer research. With her unwavering dedication and commitment towards this great cause, Lieutenant Harrington has raised well over $10,000 this year, making her the highest fundraiser firefighter nationwide. On October 21st, 2023, our Black Heart Trauma Team, along with the Black Heart Extrication Team, placed second overall as the best extrication team at the World Rescue Challenge in Spain. During the competition, emergency workers from around the world shared and exchanged information on best practices. During the same event, members of MDFR presented and was awarded the bid to host the 2025 World Rescue Challenge here in Miami-Dade County. Also in October, the City of Homestead Government held a special event to celebrate the hard work and dedication of our personnel. Captain Donald Champion received the City's inaugural Firefighter of the Year Award to recognize and honor the outstanding commitment, 
bravery and exceptional service that our firefighters provide to the community. Additionally, also recognized was firefighter Raymond Berry for being the longest serving member of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue at Homestead, Florida City Fire Rescue Station 16. While firefighter David Fernandez received the recognition for his efforts in preserving and memorializing the old Station 16. On November 16, 2023, in partnership with North American Vehicle Rescue Association, also known as NAVRA, we hosted the third annual Florida Vehicle Rescue Challenge and Firefighter Seminar at our training center in Doral. This three-day hands-on training event gave the competing teams of first responders from across the USA, Canada, and beyond the opportunity to further improve their skills to better serve their communities. During the rescue challenges, the extrication teams participated in a series of real-life, team-based time training events, including traffic crash scenarios that were designed to promote teamwork, improve communication, promote better patient care, and public safety, as well as increase rescue scene proficiency. Our Black Hearts extrication team took the trophy for first place in the category of complex extrication. We take great pride in celebrating the achievements of our fire recruits through hosting a series of graduation ceremonies. Throughout 2023, our department has hired three recruit classes totaling in 138 new firefighters. Recruit class number 150 graduated 53 new firefighters on February 2nd, 2023. Recruit class 151 totaling 31 recruits graduated on March 17th, 2023. And 54 recruits from class 152 officially received their badges, becoming full-time MDFR fire firefighters on September 15, 2023. Through hard work, dedication, and collaboration, MDFR's employees continue to be at the center of every service delivered and every positive interactions with the residents and visitors in Miami-Dade County. As we continue to strive for excellence and build on the success that we've achieved together, Miami-Dade Fire Rescue remains always ready and proud to serve.